Dear friends in Jesus Christ, in tomorrow's gospel, Jesus is telling his disciples, Come to me, all you labor and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. My yoke is easy and my burden light. So this is the, this is the core of the message that Jesus Christ is giving in tomorrow's gospel. So what does he say to us? Uh, when you look at the yoke, when you look at the yoke, which uh, pe uh, which people or the farmer used to used to lay on the lay on the bull for plowing the land for plowing the land. So sometimes uh, usually they have two bulls, so two bulls and one yoke, one yoke they keep on the neck of the bulls, neck of both the bulls. So both the bulls they carry the they carry the uh, they is, they carry the yoke and uh, the farmer uh, farm farmer plows the land farmer plows the land so here what happens what Jesus is telling so yoke there are two sides so one side Jesus will be carrying the yoke and the other side is inviting us to carry the yoke so when you carry the yoke with Jesus so it will be light it won't be too much burdened and it will be easy for you so therefore you will find rest so therefore you will find rest so this is a, a message that Jesus Christ is giving through tomorrow's gospel so for our reflection for our reflections am I a person of giving burden to others or am I a person of lightening the burden of others so this is what you, we can reflect for our day to day life so i may it may be very, it may be very easy to burden others to lay burden on others but it is very difficult to lighten the burden of others so when you when you practice that lightening the burden of others so there will be lot of difficulties and challenges obstacles that me that you may have to face in your lives face in your lives so there are plenty of people that can be uh, they, they can be an example for us for example for the Stan Somi Stan Somi so he was fighting for the Adivasis he was fighting for the for, fighting for Adivasis uh, Adivasis so therefore what he what what happened to his life so he was prisoned he was silenced and in the prison he died he died so so he tried his best to lighten the burden of Adivasi in his life. So similarly, in our lives, so what are the ways that we can uh, do to lighten the burden of others? So those ways you can practice. And in that way, in that way, Jesus will be well pleased uh, to tell you as his disciple because he is ready to lighten your burden that you may carry in your life. So therefore, dear friends, let us... Practice this in our day-to-day -day life. Try or choose to uh, take effort to lighten the burden of others. Not to give them more burden, rather lighten it. Thank you. God bless you.